Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm here to talk to you about the Alula Bat Connect and its connection to the GE Interlogix Concord 4 panel. Uh, the first thing I want to illustrate here is the box itself. This is what it comes in, the packaging. Uh, you're going to need to mark down the MAC and the MAC CRC number, which is located on this white sticker in the top right hand corner of this box. So make sure you document that. Uh, we're going to need it to get it activated for you. All right, the second thing I'm going to note here is the actual manual itself. This is the guide. It'll show you how to get it mounted. It'll show you how to get it wired in. It'll cover everything basically that I'm going over here. Uh, and it'll also uh, show you how to get connected to the Wi-Fi, etc. Uh, so what we're going to be using here to get the Concord connected to the Alula communicator is just the generic alarm panel wiring. So it's just going to be four wires going between the Alula device itself and the Concord 4 panel. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and place this on the side here. You guys can see the, the wiring that's being done. This is the Alula communicator itself. I've already pre-wired this, by the way. This does not come with this wire. You're going to need to get some wire um, between 18 and 22 gauge two conductor wire uh, for this connection. Uh, this communicator is super easy to open. It's got this uh, nice little ridge plastic clip on the side that you just press down. And then you just open the top from the bottom like that straight like a like a door there Boom. so uh, very easy to get open and as you can see once again I've already made my connections inside of the communicator itself so we have two on this side for communications and then we have these two which are going to be used for power so we'll go ahead and get the power side wired in first uh, so I've wired the black wire into GND power so you'll see that labeled GND power and then I took the red wire and I went into 12V power. So we're going to take those two wires that, that we're working with for power. By the way, the panel needs to be powered off before you do anything. Uh, do not uh, try to get this wired in with the, with the panel powered on. Uh, it, it could fry the panel. It's low voltage so it won't get you but it will definitely fry your panel. So just be careful. Uh, make sure it's powered down, backup battery and power supply. So we're going to make our connections now. The black wire is our ground wire, so that is going to be running to terminal number three, which will probably have a bunch of other black wires in it. Uh, maybe not, but probably, because uh, other things use this ground terminal as well. So if there are other wires, just put this in there along with it. The red wire is going to go into terminal number four. That's going to be for our positive power. Like I said, there probably will be other wires in this terminal. Uh, if there are, just put this down in there with it and get it tightened. So our power has now been connected to terminals 3 and 4. So we have ground at 3 and positive power at terminal 4 here at the panel. Uh, as you see, our power is connected. So now that we have the power connections made, we're going to need to make the communications connections. So I've also used just a red and black wire for my communications as well. Uh, like I said, you can use any strip between 18 and 22 as well as a little phone cable or speaker cable. That'll, that'll work as well. Um, so I'm going to be taking the red wire here and this is what is called the ring and that is going to be going to terminal number 28. I'm going to get that tightened down. And then the black wire here has been run back to the Alula communicator's tip. So we're going to take the black wire from tip to terminal number 25 on the Concord panel and we'll get that tightened in place. So once again, tip from the Alula device goes to terminal 25 on the Concord panel and ring from the Alula device goes to terminal 28 on the Concord panel. Now if terminals 25, 26, 27, and 28 on the Concord already have wires in there, take them out of there because nothing needs to be in these four slots as this is where the communications occur. So this needs to be the only device that's in there. Uh, once you have these connections made, you are ready to go and you can give us a call to get this thing monitored. Make sure um, to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how to videos and our low cost, no contract alarm monitoring services.